Good morning and welcome back to A Bird A Day. My name's John. Today we're going to be reading from Book of North American Birds, the Reader's Digest edition from 1990. We are in the Birds of Prey section. Birds of Prey. They're war they are the warlords of the air. The hawks, falcons, owls, eagles, and other birds referred to as raptors. Swift, fearless, and powerful, they're superbly equipped for their lives as predators. Almost too well, for they have also suffered at human hands for the seeming cruelty of their behavior. But such a view mistakes an act for a motive. These fierce hunters, like all wild creatures, are only carrying out the roles given them by nature. So yesterday's bird of the day on a bird a day was the snail kite. Today we're going to be reading about the northern harrier, uh, Circus cyanesis. That's the bird. Let's take a look at it, give you a good picture of him. And the male and the female, they are different, they look differently. All right. Circus Cyanesis. The silver... Listen to those birds outside, huh? The silver-backed hawk calls once and begins his descent. Red-winged blackbirds from an angry cloud around him. But the hawk's determination is unwavering. He calls again. From a featureless marsh, a bird rises to meet him. A tawny-colored bird with a white spot on her bum. As they pass, the silver one tosses a furry bundle to his mate. Turning on her back, she reaches out with taloned feet to snatch it. Then drops lightly into the marsh. The male returns to the hunt and the female will return to her nest, but not yet. An open marsh is filled with eyes, some belonging to creatures that would devour her young. In a moment, if they could. The female waits, flies half the length of a football field, then drops into the marsh again. But she is still not home. With the top of her head barely visible above the grass, she studies the horizon and sky. Satisfied at last, she takes wing again, flying this time to the nest. As with many other raptors, the male harrier, once called the marsh hawk, is smaller than his mate. Why? A possibility is that during nesting season, a male's quickness and agility make him mo a more effective hunter while at other times, the pair can avoid direct competition by seeking out prey suited to their different sizes. Harriers spend the night on the roosting platforms that may be shared with short-eared owls. So there's that picture of the short-eared owls. This is their habitat. They're all over. The entire north of almost the entirety of North America, even into Alaska. That's pretty cool. So you can see a northern harrier, depending on the time of year, um, anywhere. Exciting. How do you recognize them? That's a good question. The recognition is 17 to 14 inches long. They're slender with wings and tail long and narrow. The rump is white, the adult male pale gray, the female is brown above, streaked with brown below. They soars and glides with wings held slightly above horizontal. Their habitat are marshes, fields, and grassland. The nesting the nest is a platform of sticks, reeds, and weed stems on the ground or in shrubs. They lay three to nine eggs at a time. They're pale blue, rarely spotted with brown. 
the incubation period or the period it takes for an egg to hatch is about 32 days and the female roosts on it alone. The male brings food, but the downy young are fed by the female. Young leave the nest at about five weeks after hatching. Their food is mainly voles, also other small rodents, frogs, reptiles, insects, and small birds. The Northern Harrier. What a cool looking bird. So that is our bird of the day on a bird a day. Tomorrow's bird of the day is going to be the golden eagle. All right. Exciting. I'll flap at you then.